Business Central with Microsoft Dataverse. If you don't know what is Dataverse, you need to know uh, the purpose of Dataverse. This is the business apps often use data from more than one source. Dataverse combines data into a single set of logic that makes it easier to connect other Dynamics 65 applications such as Dynamics 65 sales or your own application built on top of Dataverse to Business Center. This is the beauty about that. So you, you have your data across all your Dynamics 65 solutions. They are now connected. You can connect also uh, to Microsoft Dataverse environments. So, to, so you have also your other apps, your other solution can be connected to the same environment. So you can uh, also exchange data. You need, in order to do that, you need to associate a business center company with Microsoft Dataverse. So you need to have uh, at least uh, uh, the business center company to associate with Dataverse. So you can uh, connect your data with the uh, with Dataverse and the CE, the customer engagement also, there is a sales integration, uh, which also use the Dataverse uh, by design. Uh, but in order to be able to use the Dataverse, you need first to assign license for Dataverse to business center user who will use integrated apps. And you need also to set up a connection to Dataverse and you need to synchronize data between the apps. These are the things that you need to do in order to be able to, uh, to do the integration between Dataverse and Business Center. So, uh, but, but that I would like to insist on that, that this integration is very strong and this make it very powerful. Synchronizing data in Business Center with Microsoft Dataverse. When you integrate Dataverse with Business Center, you can decide if you want to synchronize data and selected fields of business centers such as customers, contact and salespeople with equivalent rows in Dataverse such as account, contacts and user. So and there you will they will have they will be named accounts, contact and user. In business center they are called customer, contact and sales. Depending on the type of row, you can synchronize data from Dataverse to business center or vice versa. So you can have dual synchronization. Synchronization can be done manually or based on a schedule. So you can schedule it and make it automatically based on a specific recurrency. The element involved in synchronization are the integration table mapping, integration field mapping. So you can also uh, map fields that you would like to synchronize. Synchronization rules. So you can set synchronization with conditions, timing and all this and coupled records. So what if there is a uh, same uh, uh, record available or in case of special cases. So you need also to have uh, this elements well specified. Standard table mapping for synchronization. So uh, the tables in Dataverse, such as accounts, are integrated with the equivalent type of table in Business Center. They will be for each table in Business Center, they will be equivalent Dataverse in order to, to speak the same language. So also Dataverse because it's connect with different solution, not only Business Central. So such as so in Dataverse, it is called accounts, while in Business Center, it's called customers. So to work with Dataverse data, you set up links called coupling between tables and business central and dataverse you see here in business central you have the salesperson purchaser and dataverse they are users so you do synchronization between dataverse to business center the customer they are account there is two direction business center dataverse and dataverse to business central the vendor also is an account but type vendor so business center there is two way of synchronization the contact is contact there is also two way the currency there is a transaction currency it goes from business central to the first these are the type of uh, sample of type of synchronization between dataverse and business center let's see now a quick demo how to create an entity and connection to import data from business central Okay, so in order to create an entity and uh, bring data from Business Center, it's going to be very easy. We go to Power Apps. To under Dataverse, we have Tables. Okay, we will create now a new table. Let's call it D365BC Employee. Okay, so it's going to be Dynamics 5 Business Center Employees. We can, this is the employees. This is, remember this CR96B because this one, it will be showed in the, uh, the name of the uh, employee. The, the primary name column, 
okay so it's gonna be number so this is the primary key let's create now so you will see that this one so we have column number let's add more column so the first column is gonna be first name we will keep it text I will add last name okay and I will add another column called phone phone number we will use the use phone okay and I will add also job job title okay so you will see that the field that I have add them all under CR96B and we have a uh, several fields that were added by the system itself because this is needed in order to be uh, in dataverse uh, so the created on status all this time zone so first name last name job title and the phone number are all there uh, and the keys we will see that there is no keys here we add let's add the number as key so we will select here the number this is the primary key at least to have one key once you are done you save the table so we created a table called d65bc employee and you created certain fields now this is the first step that we need to create an entity okay so now if you go back to tables we see that we have the c65 business central employee as a table is available and if we go inside we see the keys there there is no data okay now the next step is we would like to get data from business center so inside the table you can you can go the inside the next five and here in data we click on get data okay so we need to get data now from business central <coughs> so we click on get data you will have all data source in front of you so in order to do that we need to go to O data you click here on O data now we need the URL in order to connect with the URL we need to go to the business central so let's go to business central you go to web services we need to see if there is any web services that with employee is available to check if we can connect directly to employee so let these are the web services available here so we search here put employee there is no web service with for employee so let's say create a new one here in the object type let's remove let's create a new one let me uh, go back just to make sure that because this there was services okay so we click the web services list let's click new so here I will click page the page of employee is 5201 so you see here there is employees you put in the service name employee let's say BC employee and you select publish when you select publish the system will give it a URL so this one here this URL is the one important for you you copy it okay the one inside O data v4 for employee so this is the employees you go to O data v4 you copy this one and you paste it here in the URL and you see automatically the system will take this connection you click next you might uh, uh, enter the credentials if you have already already inside or not you just have you, you enter your credential your organization you select organization and you put your username and password if it is not you see here this is all data available so you click next these are data that the one inside business central the 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 uh, the employees the data and so you load to existing table I told you so to remember that there is CR the one is related to 
the table is the one CR96B this one is a table so we load data to existing table we can select now mapping we need to map field the first name job title last name we see from where we do we bring it from business central so it will be brought from the first name business central from job title from the last name so here last name the number we can take it also from the number here and the phone number is from the could be from mobile phone number or phone number okay so we have we do the mapping we click next we can uh, also decide if we would like to refresh manually every time or we need to refresh automatically we can select refresh automatically and make this refresh every five minutes or refresh it only specifically on the date time specifically i will keep it now refresh manually just because i don't want to uh, make load on the server itself so now you will see that you have inside the business central okay so we have defined this one okay we have uh, get data so inside data now you have just to refresh keep it a little bit uh, one minute maybe so you see you click refresh and you will see your data there so what we you will see from if you go to employees here you will see this data will be load inside your dataverse okay so this is what we we were we wanted to create a new entity in dataverse power app and uh, get data from business center you will see you see you see voila so it was very easy we have now all our data inside power apps which, which one brought from business center if you don't see all the fields you can always select here and select all columns so we see all columns that were brought from uh, business center I, th I hope that you like this demo it was uh, easy to create new entity and bring data from business center let's go back to our presentation